Hey everyone. So I believe a few months back now, I gave a presentation at the virtual Wisconsin Tug meeting. Um, and that was utilizing my own Google Maps data to make a table visual about my Italian vacation. Um, I was in Italy for like 15 days and just my Google account tracks sort of where I go on maps and everything. And I always find it's really fun to actually utilize that Google Maps data that they're already tracking on you to then make a visual so you can enjoy your vacation in a very nerdy way, which is very me. So I wanted to show you guys how to utilize your Google Maps data and a few different fun tips in Tableau to show off that data and really impress your friends. So let's get started by going to our Google Maps. And you can go to your timeline, which is just a menu, and then you go to your timeline. And here is where we can specify exactly when we want to look at. So if I specify, for example, 2020, this was way back in January, which seems like a year ago with everything that's going on. And we'll just say the second, for example. Even just filtering that sort of shows where I've been to though, which is sort of cool. So we can see exactly where I've traveled and I want all this data as data points. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the wheel cog in the corner here. And I am going to export this day to KML. What I do with all these KML files is I actually go into all tricks and I join them all into one, do a few different spatial analytics with it, and then I export as a TDE so I can then work in Tableau. The thing that does suck is I do go each day and specify that each day and then export that KML file, which is a little sad and a little annoying, but I promise it's all worth it for the visual you can make with it. So let's go into Tableau now. And here we can see sort of like the same picture that I was seeing in Google Maps, but it's using all that raw KML data that was behind the scenes that I then did a little bit of spatial with in Alteryx. So what I wanna show is a few different mapping features that people maybe don't know about. So we can go up to map on our breadcrumb trail And we can go to map layers and you can change your style to light, normal, dark. You can also show satellite view, uh, different streets. I did the dark and I put it on a slight washout so that way it wasn't as stark of a difference. I don't like completely black displays. Um, I like a little bit of gray tone to it. And another fun thing is you can choose sea terrain, coastline, um, your province borders. So when I was over in France here, there's a bunch of different like differentiations between the borders. And I really wanted to show that as well as I was up in the mountains by Switzerland and France, um, up in Aosta. And I wanted to show that that was mountainous terrain. Uh, that way you can sort of get a full picture of my literal vacation. You can see that I was on the coastline, which is a little bit different of terrain compared to Aosta, which is up in the mountains. So it's a really fun way to sort of track exactly where you were and sort of what the terrain was and give an idea to your users. A fun way that I see this being applicable in real life um, like in work scenarios and everything is say you're trying to ship something and it's taking like this weird path. You can put on a terrain. So just click this button here and you can take a look at maybe why it's taking longer to ship that product. One other thing that I added to my dashboard is my actions. So if you click on one of these activities here, so these are each different points that I was at in Italy. Um, for example, I was at the Monte Rosa Spa. Uh, you can see how many times I was there and the general duration. 
One thing Google Maps data is if you're not connected to like Wi-Fi or connected to data, it doesn't track things as far as timing absolutely great. Um, so vacations where you're like closer to data and everything and you are able to connect, I wasn't because I just don't have an international plan. Um, you can see a lot more details. So once I was done with this, I pushed it up into my public dashboard. So this is always really fun way that you can show your data. So I made it as my featured and you can see my Italian venture on my Tableau Public. So this is just a really quick way of how to utilize your own Google Maps data and push to Tableau so you can force other people to enjoy your adventures. <laughs> I hope this sort of forces you to take a look at Google Maps data and maybe inspires you to spend this time looking at your other vacations that maybe you can't be on right now due to what's going on in the world.